Hello friends and welcome to Sustainable Prepping, your home for fear-free emergency preparedness and a sustainable life. My name is Brecky and today I'm going to be taking you through my emergency nuclear fallout first aid kit that I'm putting together right now so that you can have some inspiration. If you're new, I want to say a great big welcome. If you're not new, I want to say welcome back. We're going to jump right into it because I can't find my tripod. It's late at night, but I want to get this video out in order to help encourage, inspire, and inform those of you who are looking for some information. So it's a little rough and ready because I don't have my tripod, but we're going to run with it. All right, friends, forgive this again. I do not have a tripod with me, but this is currently what I have. Some duct tape that I brought downstairs from upstairs. Um, I have several medical kits throughout our house, um, and we do have medical kits in our go bags, which we would plan to bring down to our basement shelter should we need a shelter in place. But I wanted to show you what I'm putting together of different assorted things that will uh, live either in the basement or right by the stairs for the next several days, weeks, months, however long we might need. There are some things um, here that I still need to add, but I'll tell you that at the end. But for right now, I wanna show you what I'm putting in my fallout medical kit, assuming that we are sheltering in place from a nuclear blast. Now, I don't live near anything where the blast would be close. There would be zero reason to blast us where we are, but we definitely could get corridor radiation. So assuming we're spending anywhere from 72 hours to up to three weeks sheltering in our basement, this is what I'm putting together. What you're gonna see is a theme here, okay? Um, and that is gonna be allergy medication. So I have some open um, liquid Claritin because I have toddlers. Um, and I don't have an unopened bottle of this. I'm gonna try to get some um, soon, but you're gonna see a lot of allergy medication. So here's another um, Allertech. This is the Costco of Zyrtec, I believe, um, because if we're in a dusty basement, we definitely wanna have allergy medication. There's another allergy medication here somewhere. Some Zycam in case we start feeling sick. Um, ibuprofen, I need to put some Tylenol in here, but I just gotta find a smaller container. Some mucus relief, this is if a cold starts. Again, um, if the allergies lead to a full-blown cold, because we will be in a basement, we have some uh, cold and flu stuff on hand. Um, the uh, over-the-counter Flonase for, uh, again, allergies. And where is, there is another allergy stuff in here. I'll show you that when we get to it. All right. And we have here chewable uh, antacids. If you have an upset stomach, if you're someone like me and one of my kids who has a, a very anxious tummy that gets kind of a stomach acid as a part of their anxious tummy, um, this having Tums, having Pepto-Bismol chews, those are all really great. All right, itch relief because we're gonna be in a basement in case we get bites or um, the dust gets our skin irritated. All right, so here, um, this is a bleeding spray. I have a ton of things that are here to help with scrapes and nicks. Now, I don't believe we would have any major bleeding, though I could treat some of that if, if it came to it. Um, but I am, in this case, we're just gonna scooch over, um, really looking at trying to deal with minor wound care. Okay, so here is a stack. This is the first two are both um, anti-diarrheals and the back here is um, a allergy, more allergy meds. Let's see. Oh, measuring, measuring thing that came away from something else. There it is. There's the other allergy relief stuff that I have. Uh, lots of allergy stuff. This is a mouth to mouth guard. Not that we necessarily need it in our family, but we do have one. Okay, extra paracord. All right, we got gauze, liquid skin here, two big things of gauze. We've got folded gloves, all right, folded nitrile gloves, and then a stash of band-aids of different sizes. Okay, a ton of band-aids here. So this is sort of our gauze. You can see we have medical tape here, a um, couple of rolls. Now over here, I've got, um, ibuprofen drops. Now we have toddlers, not infants, but this is highly concentrated. So, and it also has its little syringe in there, which means um, it's fairly hygienic. So we have that, plus we have some liquid Tylenol down here. Um, so that's really for the twin toddlers. Here we go. Here is the Dentec. Remember I did the thing on having your dentistry kit? Well, 
I decided that this should come with us because if we have a dental emergency here, this is the um, the numbing agent, okay, the pain relieving agent. Uh, if we're in a situation where I've got cavity fillings, my husband has cavity fillings in a crown, like if we have a situation and we got a shelter in place for three weeks, uh, we don't want to be SOL, you know. All right, a thermometer. I have a forehead one, but we use that a lot, so I'm not sticking it in here right now. Oh, this is more cavity repair, just, just to be safe. So here's where you see some of the stuff that I've had, okay? So I have some quick clot. If we scrape ourselves, you, I will show you in another video, but the space that would be our shelter in space is very rustic, okay? It's not ideal, but it's better for us to have it at home than to try to get to a bunker somewhere else. So we could scrape ourselves very easily. Um, so we have meta, you know, uh, this is essentially Neosporin. This is an antibiotic ointment. Um, we have more anti-itch stuff. Here is some calcium alginate dressings. Okay. Right. These are all wound care stuff. Here's an emergency blanket. Um, these are my antibacterial um, with silver alginates, okay? So very, very good for wound care. Um, also possibly burn care, should we should we need that. Um, and then some of these gauze protective dressings, okay? And then I have um, a chest seal. Now, I don't think I would need this. I really, really don't think I would need this, but I'd rather have it stuck in here because it's not taking up that much space than not having it. Okay, so... This is what we have. That's the second mouth guard. Um, now over here, okay? This is this is the good stuff. Um, so this is the emergency laceration enclosures in case there's something really deep, okay? Um, I have two packs of these. One is going to be in here and one is going to go in my go bag. Um, again, I foresee us dealing with allergies and cold and then cuts, Okay, cuts and bruises because of being in a basement. So I want to try to handle allergies and cuts the best that I can. Now this this is my my gold right here. I have a ton of iostat. Um, I bought some a couple of years ago, just just to have. Uh, my husband thought I was losing my mind. This was this was two or three years ago, um, and I said, you know. I'd rather spend the $25 and waste it than uh, not be able to get it when we need it. So this is enough. We have six people in our family, four, five, six, um, and a couple of more in case my in-laws are here. Um, we have enough for my family. We would probably need to break these in half for my uh, teen sons, and um, we would definitely need to crush them um, and portion them out and put them in applesauce for the toddlers. However, um, that is all, there's a whole chapter on how, like a whole section on how to do that in here. And this will be sitting with this. So this is coming with us. So this is actually a part of my medic, um, kit. It's going to actually sit with this box because I do not want to lose this book. Okay. This is an essential guide for us. Thing. I went upstairs to grab some more allergy relief. Now this is more of a Benadryl rather than a general allergy. So I have some of that. Um, then I've got more liquid skin. I have four or five of these, so I'm putting as many as possible in here. I'll take it out of its packaging so it won't take up so much space. Pepto-Bismol tablets, I said I need to add these, but I had them. So I'm going ahead and adding them in now. Good to have good to know where they are and then this is all cold and flu um so we've got mucinex brand cold and flu here and then this is guafenicin so just adding more decongestants and things like that all right we're also going to be adding i have one sam splint here um just in case right we're going to be in a little fallout shelter if things shake um if the kids you know bonk themselves we have this on hand and then I will be adding in, um, I need to take them out of the box, but I'll be adding in these foam dressings. Again, these foam dressings um, would allow us, if we had a really big injury, to not have to change it out so often and would create a protective barrier. So there we go. That's what's gonna go in it. Um, plus, I'm gonna take down 
some hydrogen peroxide. Here is my kit. Again, focusing on scrapes, focusing on cold symptoms and on allergy stuff. Um, that is what I think is gonna be most important in our situation um, is really dealing uh, with that. I am gonna be adding more stuff. This is not all that I am taking down there. So I will have um, meal buckets and things like that. I'll be adding rehydration salts and things like that um, to some of the food buckets. And I may add a couple of, of packs in here. But I wanted to go ahead and get this out um, because I know that there are people who are anxious and sometimes having a project that makes you feel like you are um, moving forward can make you feel better. So here is a quick rough and dirty uh, look at the kit that I am taking. Lots of allergy stuff, lots of stuff for, you know, upset stomachs, lots of stuff for nicks and cuts, again, in a fallout um, basement dugout shelter. That's where we're going to be. All right, friends, that is my kit. I want you to comment down below and let me know what are you putting in your kit and are there any suggestions for things that I have missed? Like I said, there are a couple things I know I need to add. Gauze and Pepto-Bismol pills are two of them, but aside from that, let me know if there's anything you think I should add to my kit. I hope you guys are feeling calm and confident. Remember, being prepared is all about being prepared for every emergency so you can lead with calm and confidence. Do the project, get it done, and if you need to unpack it in a couple months because it never gets used, all you did was waste a little bit of time, okay? So be calm, be confident, be prepped. Until the next video, bye.